For a number of years now, work has been proceeding in order to bring perfection to the brilliantly conceived idea of a vacuum transmission system that would not only supply inverse reactive residual gas analysis for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters. Such an instrument is a vacuum turbo encabulator. Now basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of vacuum being generated by the relative motion of turbines and roots blowers, it is produced by the modial interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. This beta machine has a base plate of pre-famulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving dry screw shafts are in a direct line with a panometric band. The later consisting of six hydrocoptic marzal veins so fitted to the ambifacent transaxial wane shaft that side fumbling is effectively prevented. The main hyperbolic drive is of the normal Lotus O Delta type placed in panodermic semi boiled slots of the stationary housing, every seventh turbine blade being connected by a non reversible treme pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the free mean path grammeters. The vacuum turbo encabulator has now reached a high level of development and is being successfully used in the operation of cyclotronic nomeotrunions. Moreover, whenever a millitor for essence score motion is required, it may be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal replaneration. Although impossible to measure with a microcongruent capacitance manometer, by using finite element analysis of nonlinear differential path Gorians, we can prove that the vacuum turbulent encabulator is capable of achieving an ultimate pressure of 1.38 times 10 to the minus 42 millibar. The incomparable question remains, however, will it bloat? This incredible new product is brought to you by the GNB Innovation Laboratory. Stay tuned for further development.